Today we're going to have a look at how we can identify Russian warships from the Northern Fleet. And the way we do that is we use open source and we will visit Murmansk, Severomorsk and Poljarny, where they have different warships. But before we do that, I would like to thank all my subscribers. I very much appreciate the support. The tools we use is Google Earth, which you can see here. And then we use very nicely the Russian military website and we choose Navy. Then we can see all the ships they have. And we use Wikipedia because Wikipedia has uh, some very nice list of different ships and also which ones are active. If you use the um, Russian military website, use Chrome because then you can click on English and it will all be reasonable to read. Here we start with several mosques and I can see it says image credit 38 Google Earth. Mm, that is wrong. <laughs> the image credit is Google Earth, not 38 North. Sorry for that. The first ships we see is um, we have some patrol boats here and then we have some tugboats and we have a supply vessel. Not very interesting. Then we continue and then the next ship we see is a salvage ship here. This is a salvage ship. They have two in the Northern Fleet. It's uh, the Mikhail Rudnitsky class, a 5360. And next to it, we have a landing ship. And we can see that among others because it has a flat nose and we can see the length. Normally, the landing ships are about 120 meters. But there is one, the Pyotr Morganov, that is slightly longer. So it's relatively easy to identify this one. And then on this side we can see both of the salvage ships. Uh, I don't know the name of them. At least we know they're both the salvage ships they have in the Northern Fleet. And then here we have a destroyer. And it's relatively easy to identify. It has these two gun towers here. And we can see the missile launchers here. And then the length. And if you have these things, then you can easily identify it. Next to it, we have a Bore class ballistic missile sub. It's 160 meters. And then if you look at the tail, uh, you can see that this is uh, a Bore A class. Again, go to the Russian military website and look at Wikipedia. It's relatively easy to identify. And here they have the ballistic missiles. If you're interested in looking it up yourself, you can see here the data and you put it in Google Earth and it will bring you automatically here. And then we have a ship that is relatively easy to recognize. It's a Kirov class battle cruiser, the Pyotr Veliki or Peter the Great. Originally the name was Yuri Andropov, but then when the USSR collapsed, they didn't want the ship to have that name and they gave it a new name, which is Peter the Great or Pyotr Veliki. He has the bow number 099 and a beautiful picture from the side of it. The ship next to it, which is also pretty big, is a Slava class. And they're easily to recognize because here you see these. Well, here they are. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we have a destroyer here. This one is a destroyer. Again, uh, measure it, use the tools in Google Earth. And then here you see there's a dual flight deck. And we have a picture here of an Udalai uh, class one destroyer. There's also a class two. And here is the dual flight deck with the hangars here. And then we have a Rupucha class two landing ship. And you see the nose here is going a little bit up. And that is the flat nose here that is going a little bit up. And then if we just check the structures, we can see it's here. I know it's it's difficult to see, but measure it, uh, measure the beam. And you will see, okay, this is probably the only one that it can be. And we go to Murmansk. We move south. And here we can see a nice submarine it's an Oscar tube class and the people that have seen my videos from North Korea with the submarines they probably recognize these pipes here and here 
And that's because when it's in dock, you need to pump air in and you need to give electricity. Uh, so it's relatively easy to recognize uh, subs in docks because they always have one or two of these pipes on it. Further down to Murmansk, we have an aircraft carrier. It's um, the Admiral Kuznetsov. And the reason why we know it's this one is because uh, this one is refitted. Uh, they had a fire on board. And so it's relatively easy to uh, recognize. It's supposed to be finished in 2022, maybe 2023. If you want to have a look at it, here are the coordinates. To me, it doesn't look it's in a great state, but uh, maybe in a few months it will look better. And like I said, there is an uh, Udalai 2 destroyer. Again, it's in the refit. They're working on it and they, you can read that on the Russian web page. Uh, so we can identify this ship relatively easy because we can see it's a destroyer uh, in the Udalai class. They only have one that is in two and it's in refit. And if we go to Google Earth and we go back in time, we can see uh, they've been working on it for quite a long time. And we go to Poljarni. That's a bit more up north. And here we can see some submarines. And here... Well, let's have a closer look and we can see their kilo class submarines uh, just measure the beam measure the size they're relatively easy to recognize i went a little bit back in time and here there's a bit more clear picture uh, there are three before i i finish i just wanted to show the wikipedia page and the reason is that here you can see all the submarines and here you can see all the surface warships. So it's relatively easy to recognize things. And here you can see the different ports. Now, I only did Zevoromorsk and a little bit of Poljarni. There are obvious a lot more, but then this video will take forever. And I just wanted to show how it's done so that people that have an interest can have a look themselves. Again, thanks to all my subscribers. And thank you very much for watching.